Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Brandon Bell. He's the Metcalf County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources and our resident pumpkin expert. Good, good morning, <laughs> Joanna. Thank you for that compliment. Well, I'm glad you're here today because I think this is very interesting about you're going to kind of walk us through the stages of how a pumpkin actually develops. We're going to grow pumpkins right here on this table. And this, I started doing this years ago in the schools to elementary and maybe middle school uh, classrooms. And then, you know, I got to noticing that a lot of adults may not understand this, this whole process and it's pretty complex. And, you know, pumpkins are in the cucurbit family. So they're in the vining or vine crop family, if you want to refer to it as that. So we've got pumpkins, watermelon, squash, cucumbers, gourds, uh, zucchini, honeydew, um, cantaloupe, a lot of things. And the, the life cycle is basically the same with, within all these crops. Okay, uh, so take us through it. I know you've grown pumpkins for years, but how do we start? Okay, we're gonna start uh, with seed, uh, mid-June. And we're gonna put that seed about one inch in the ground. Uh, about seven days later, uh, we're gonna see uh, the two little cotyledon leaves emerge. Um, after the pumpkin has, after the seed has germinated and then popped through the ground. And then a few more days, we're gonna start to see what we call true leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, the cotyledons are smooth, um, oval-shaped leaves, and then our true leaves uh, begin to form. So in a matter of just a few weeks, um, we have vines, and there are bush type, there are restricted vine, there's full vine, there's a lot of different types of pumpkin vines. This is an aggressive uh, variety and these can get 10 or 12 feet long at least. So we're going to go from uh, the seed to this vine in just a few weeks. Uh, about 40 to 45 days after we have planted this seed into the ground, we're going to start to see what we call male blooms or male flowers pop up and they're the ones that you're going to be see sticking out up above the vine canopy. This is 40 to 45 days. Shortly after we see these male blooms pop up, we're gonna start to see female flowers. And if you'll notice, uh, there is a little egg looking structure that uh, is here on the female flower and it will eventually become the pumpkin. So what we have to have here is we have to have bees to transfer this pollen. There's no pollen in the female flower, there's pollen in the male flower. The bee goes in after the nectar, uh, basically to get something to eat, and the bee gets pollen all over its body. So then the bee will visit uh, this flower, the female flower, multiple times, and then once this flower is fertilized from that pollen or pollinated, we will have what we call a fruit set or a juvenile pumpkin. And as you can see right here, this blossom or bloom that was once part of this female flower is getting ready to drop off of this pumpkin. So at this point, we're 45 to 50 days into the process. And in just a matter of a few days, we're gonna have what's gonna start to shape up and look like a pumpkin. And um, most pumpkins are gonna stay green until they ripen. Now there are some exceptions. Some will be yellow, some will be white uh, for most of their life. But in, depending on the weather from 75 to 90 days on this particular variety, which is an autumn buckskin, we're gonna go from the seed to the mature fruit. And it varies some uh, between varieties and weather patterns will also make ripening time and maturing time uh, differ a little bit. Now, Brandon, you made that sound so fun and easy, <laughs> but there's a lot that goes into each one of these stages of this life cycle there is for the lot. pumpkin grower. Yes. Uh, it's exciting. Uh, it's exciting to, to watch them. You can almost watch them grow. Um, and it's uh, rewarding. If you don't want to grow pumpkins commercially, put some in your garden. Uh, teach your kids, teach your grandkids about the importance of bees, pollination, and this life cycle. Absolutely. Well, Brandon, certainly appreciate the information. And so when you're getting that pumpkin for your fall decoration or maybe to make a pumpkin pie, you will now know how it got here from seed all the way to fruition. Thanks, Brandon, for visiting with us today. We appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show. Have a great day.